Hi, this is Mabel's Tables, and I am coming to you today to decorate my lantern that I made out of picture frame from a Dollar Tree. And I know you all know how to make the picture frames, but just in case you don't, I'm going to go over it again. Now, this glass comes with a backing. And it comes with the paper backing, just like you would see in a picture frame. You remove that, keep the mirror in there, and you glue the mirror to the back like that. Okay, and then once you glue that mirror to the back, you start by putting this down, and you need these. I got these from Dollar Tree as well. And I spray painted these with gray because I wanted a gray accent. And after I spray painted them with gray and let them dry, then I started applying these with hot glue and um, E6000. Here's my E6000 that I used. And I put it in this corner. You see these corners right here? They hold those sticks really, really well. See in that corner? That's where I put that E6000 in each one of the corners. Once I put that E6000 in those corners, I started lining up my sticks. I lined the sticks up here and, and I let it dry. And it turned out beautiful. I got a lot of strings from the um, glue gun. So what I did, I put the E6000 in there and then put a little glue around it so that it will set up and be very permanent and beautiful. And I chose these. I did not clean them off yet. I chose these uh, because I want to do white and silver for my little lant lantern. And on the top of my lit little lantern, as you can see, I have some uh, diamond teardrops on the top. I just put them in each corner, uh, four corners of the, in the four corners of this. Let me put a little more glue up there because this one fell off and I'm gonna glue it back on. Let me push it back. I'm going to get a little glue here, and I'm going to glue it back on. There you go, just a little glue. And I got mine with the point this way. You see how the, how the frame points out that way? And that's the way I got my little... Um, See my little diamonds? They are pointing out the way the frame points out, okay? Well, this one don't want to stick, so you know it goes there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move on to finish showing you what I was doing with this. I'm trying to clean it off. It's not to hold up so much time. We're going to try it once more. But we're not going to be mad or angry with it if it don't want to do it. Because every time you put this camera up, I promise you, everything is not going to work out right. All you got to do is turn the camera on and everything goes wrong. But I do not like to blot out my mistakes. I like to keep my mistakes in so you can see what I'm doing as well. Okay, so I think it's stuck that time. So now that we got that there, I decided to go a little further with mine because I want it to be different. So what I'm doing, I took a Dollar Tree doily and I cut it in half. And with that Dollar Tree doily, I'm going to put it down here on the bottom like this. I wanted something different on mine instead of making it the same way and keeping it the same way. So I put that Dollar Tree doily right there. 
I got that doily on there just like that. And now I'm going to uh, glue that, uh, that doily. Just put a little glue, not much, just right here. And today, everything in my house decided to act up. Today is the Lord's day. And I am not giving up. Not whoever wants to act up or be ugly, let it be. So there you go. Okay, I got my lace on here, that lace doily. I put it here, and I also put it here on the top. I want my lantern to be different. You remember years ago when they had the uh, when they had the kerosene lamps and and they had the base of them that looked like lace on the base. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm gonna make mine like an old fashioned lantern here. Uh, years ago when they had them in the house, not the ones that you carried out to the field. Because, you know, we had the one lantern that you could carry out to the field uh, to uh, get work done before daybreak. You know, had that lantern that you could carry out to the field. So I'm just pulling off the little strings here. Okay, now this is how I want to decorate my lantern. I'm using these jingle blocks from... Um, from the Dollar Tree, the Tower Game Blocks, you remember these? So what I did, I took eight of these and I made me a handle. I'm gonna put it up on top like this. Uh, I'm gonna push it back so you can see. See, it's on the top right there. So I'm taking it down and then putting it back. I want you to see, I took eight of them and made me a, um, a handle for my lantern. So now I'm going to take some hot glue and put on the bottom of it. I didn't paint the bottom because it's going to be sitting next on the lace. And this glue is hot, so be careful. And it sticks very well. So I'm going to turn this over like this and stick it right in the middle, right there. See, there you go. And put it right there. And that's the way it's going to look. Right there. And I'm going to take a little more hot glue and glue down my, um, I'm going to glue this down. Make sure it's glued down good. So when I lift my handle up, it won't come off. It won't come off, okay? I should have did this first. So this is trial and error. That's how you learn. If you delete everything, you can't show others how to get it right. So I want you to be able to get that right, to get it right. So yours, won't. you won't have as much trouble as I did. That's the name of showing people what to do. You want them to, to get it right because you don't want them to get it wrong and they don't turn out right. Now I have one of these and I'm going to put this right on top of here. Right on top of the jingle block blocks. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to put some glue on it. Just a hot glue. And around and around and around and around she goes. And I'm going to stick that right on the top and let it cure right up there. And this is how I wanted my uh, lantern to look. I want it to look just like this old-fashioned lantern. And I also took some of these Jenga blocks, same thing, and spray-painted them uh, silver. And what I'm going to do with these... Uh, Jingle blocks here. I took two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them, and I'm gonna place them right in here. I'm gonna place them right in there. 
I'm making my lantern different because I want it to be different. I want my lantern to be different and I want it to showcase. There you go. This is white and silver. Okay. And I'm going to put some on this side. Put my silver ones. I spray painted them with some silver spray paint. And this is the way I want it to look. And I'm putting it down like this. There you go. And I'm not going to glue it down because I just want it to stay down. Okay. And I'm going to take my little stick and push it in there. And I don't want to glue it in because the reason why I'm not gluing this in because we might, might want to change it out to a different color. And if you glue it in, you can't change it out. So this is what it looks like. Let me pull the, the strings off from the glue. Okay, pull the strings out. There you go. Get this, all the glue strings off. And here we go. This is it right here. And I got some white ribbon right here. Some white ribbon. And you see on top of this, you see the holes in here? Let me get the other one out and let you show you. You see the holes right in there? You can do your ribbon through all those holes and then tie a bow. So what I'm going to do is do come right across this way, and I'm going to tie a bow off. So I'm going to go ahead and lace that through here. Let me show you what I mean by lace it through. And I'm dropping everything. I'm going to put that through here. And I'm going to put that through here. Here we go. Wait a minute. Going to put it here. And we're going to pull it, pull it all the way through. And I'm going to show you the effects that it'll have. Because I want it to hang like this. So I'm going to go away and get this laced all on the front. And then I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. Okay, so I got that white going through the loops here. See how I left it loopy right there. I left the loop the loop in there going through uh, this part of the frame. I put it the through this part of the frame here and I left it hanging out so it'll look like a loop the loop. You know, doop, doop, doop. And I put my thankful and grateful bow here on the side of it. There you go. My thankful and grateful bow there. And I have a silver cup. These cups come from the Dollar Tree. They used to be four in a pack some years ago. About It's been about three years. And I spray painted that silver tied a side bow right here and put my florals in there and this is what my lantern look like i did not want to make the same lantern as everybody else with candles and this so i did mine's a little different and here is the top of my lantern see my top on my lantern there that's the top right there. My knob, my jingle blocks are all on the top, okay? And it's moving a little bit because I made a mistake. And this is where you learn from my mistake. I did not glue down my doily to the picture frame. And that's what I'm going to have to go back and do now to make sure my doily is uh, glued down to my picture frame so that it will not move. 
This is Mabel's table saying, I hope you like the way that I fixed my my uh, picture frame lantern. I wanted it to be different and I made it different. Now these bows can come off and you can redo them any way you want to. And I wrapped a little of the flower, a little, little of the ribbon right around this way, see? I wrapped it that. So this is my picture frame lantern with lace doilies, jingle blocks, and flowers here. Isn't that beautiful? I love that saying, thankful and grateful and blessed. I like that bow. Thankful, grateful, blessed. I think it's absolutely, 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 absolutely gorgeous. Thankful, grateful, and blessed. This is Mabel Table saying, I am so thankful that you came to watch my video. And I feel blessed because you subscribe to my channel. And I am just so thankful. Thankful for all of my subscribers, old and new. And I ask that you continue praying to the Lord because that's where our blessings come from. I'm hoping, praying, and staying with God to help me through this trying time. Mabel's Table saying, I love you with a passion and adieu. God bless you.